The Yankees are going back to the World Series. First time in 15 years, man. Oh my God, this shit is unbelievable. I. Giancarlo Stanton won the MVP, had four homers in this series, seven RBI. Judge has six RBI as well. Soto was a beast as well. The top guys in the lineup did what they had to do. I don't want to hear about easy path to the, to the World Series because the Guardians played a super tough here in this series. It may look like a five-game gentleman sweep, but it was everything but that, man. The Guardians fought. The Guardians fought tooth and nail to prevent the Yankees. The, the Yankees were just better, dog. They were just better. And they went out there. They took it. They beat their all-star closer two times in this series to the point where he was, like, mentally shaken. But shout to Class A, bro. Respect to him. He came out today, and he, you know, he got refocused again and remember who the hell he was. All that Instagram she was doing, that she was, beneath, like, beneath him, bro. Don't do that shit. Take your L, move on. That's what Mo did. So, we back in the World Series. We out here chasing number 28. Let's talk about the game real quick, dog. First of all, that first inning was so annoying, bro, because the Yankees could have put up a crooked number early. Glaber gets on. Soto gets on with a hit. And then when he gets on with that hit, Glaber's coming all the way around. For some reason, Mendoza waves him in. He gets... It's not Mendoza. I'm sorry. Third base coach. Uh, fuck, I forgot his name. Anyway, he waved him in. And then when he waved him in... He got called out at home. That shit happened. I'm like, what the hell? Then the Yankees are not scoring for a while. Guardians score another run. It's two zip. It's like, yo, is this one of those games that the Yankees are just not going to do it, bro? Like, they're just not going to score? Like, what's happening? Listen, Giancarlo, this is the stupidest shit I've seen. The MVP of the series is right here in front of you. He's... You just retired the first two batters at the inning, dog. You got a double play from Judge. You got a runner on third. First base is obviously open. Why the hell are you pitching to Giancarlo? That's none of my business, dog. My man threw a hanging curveball and an MVP postseason god does what he's supposed to do. My man parked that shit and it's two up. Ball up top. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to the World Series now. Game stays the same. Shout out to the bullpen. Everybody in the bullpen came in, put up their zeros. Their bullpen held serve as well. Luke Weaver came in. Class A came in. They put up their stuff. Yankees, 10th inning. Here we go. We got a situation. We get a couple of men on. They get a ball. They try to do too much. They try to turn a double play where it wasn't. That led to an error. And now you got to face the GOAT, the young GOAT. De lo mio personal Juan fucking Soto, who puts together a godly, otherworldly at bat, bro. And my man looked at him. He said, yo, I got you, bro. You could tell. He, was a, he looked at him. He took, he's like swung on one pitch and he fouled it off and he looked at him and he said, oh, I got you. I said it before the at-bat even started. I said, if he throws a fastball up in the zone, he's going to park that shit. Guess what happened, dog? Park that shit. Home run. Three run homers win you ball games. And I said it the day we, we got Soto. I said, signed. I'm co-creating that shit. The day that we traded for Soto, I said, yo, that kid came up at 19 and went to the World Series with the Nationals and was hitting homers off of Justin fucking Verlander like it was nothing. It was a play. It was a game like in his fucking backyard to him when he was parking shit up against the Astros when they beat him. Listen, he was 19 years old, ready. You think he's not going to be ready now? You think he shrinks in the moment? No, he doesn't. This is his moment. This is the moment. This is the moment that he seeks. He loves it. So what did he do? What great players do. What clutch players do. What people that should be all-time Yankees for the rest of their lives, that you should sign their kids and their kids' kids do. He parked the ball in right center 
field for a three run bomb to put the Yankees five to up five to two on the road and take the soul out of Cleveland. Yesterday, they won their game. Today, they said this shit ends now. We want to rest. We want to set, set up Garrett Cole for the World Series game one. We want to sit down and watch stress-free baseball, hopefully for two more games in the Mets and Dodgers. And let's chillin'. We chillin'. I'm good with whoever you bring. I'm good with the Mets. I'm good with the Dodgers. I don't care. Whoever y'all want to throw this way to Yankee Stadium, we good. We good. You bring the Mets, that's seven home games. You bring the Dodgers, that's the West Coast rivalry. Otani, bring your ass here. Yamamoto, bring your ass here. Y'all wanted to not come here. Let's see what's up. Because we chasing 28. Yankees only. Don't be afraid. Don't be don't don't be like try to hide your fandom because some people be like, oh, you should you guys are celebrating too much. Fuck that shit. We're AL champs. American League. No one better. We had the best record. Yankees are the best road team in all of baseball. And they proved it here. They went to Cleveland, a tough place to play. This play, these guys are the best home team in all of playoffs. In all, all of MOB. Best home team. Guardians. Yankees went in there. Those are easy games. Anybody that's watched the game with their two eyes, were those easy games? None of them were easy games. They took two or three on the road. They've done this all year. This ain't new. They've done this all year. Shout out to the pitching staff. They were awesome. They got bit a couple of times in the series. Hey, who doesn't? When you get when you pitch every freaking day, who doesn't? Luke Weaver. <laughs> shout out to you. Pop, you took it on the chin, Pop. They punch you. You give up that bomb to Big Christmas and gave them their big win. But history always, always writes itself. 2017, the Yankees went down 0-2 and they lost in extra innings in game two to the in the ALDS to the Indians, now Guardians, to the Indians, Yankees win three straight. 2022, Yankees lose. Tough one. Get walked off by the Guardians. Game three, Yankees win two straight. Yankees once again get walked off. Tough game. Closer gets knocked around. And, and their secondary guy in Clay Holmes gives up a walk-off bomb. Big time stuff. Celebration. Walk off. Two straight. It's business. Bro, these niggas been here before. They did this shit. They does this. Now we in the World Series. If you're a Yankee fan, give yourselves a round of applause. We here. We're here. Yes. We're here. But job's not finished. Four more wins. We celebrate now because we actually won a pennant. We can actually say we can add to that pennant now. That is a cha- it's technically an American League championship. You won that. But that's in the cuff now. That's in the That's cool and all. But that's in put that shit away. You know what we want. Four more wins. You know what we want. Four more wins. You know what we want. We want four more wins because I haven't talked about 27 championships in a long time. Because people kept saying, oh, all you guys do is say 27, 27, 27, 27 rings. I don't talk about that no more. Jeff, when was the last time I mentioned 27 rings? Years ago. I don't. I don't even mention it. We don't talk about that. I don't talk about it. But... 28 mm. is brand new, my nigga. So I, if we hit that shit, mm-hmm. I'm talking about that shit till your ears bleed, bitch. Because yep. Yankees only. Yep. Yankees only. Yankees only. Let's go. We here. They don't want to see us here. But we here. We're here. Every year people talk about, oh, you guys, you guys do this, you guys that, but we not there, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you guys are, all right, but I told people, I'm like, listen. It's all good and all. I'm going to take my losses whenever I lose. You know, I take them. I take them like a man. We lost. I get upset or whatever. All good. I pop. Best believe. I got 15 years. I got 15 years of, of like that bent up energy. That missing winning energy. That niggas going to hear me. Hi. If we win, they going to hear me. Right? They gonna hear all of them. They gonna hear Yankee fans, and they don't want that. 
They'd even rather the Dodgers win. They'd rather anybody else in the world win. But it's all good. It don't matter. Yankees only. Always. Always. It's always been 29 teams and the Yankees. It's always been that. But it's fine. It's hot. It's fine. We're back. We're back in the World Series. I got my World Series tickets. Yeah. We going to World Series. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Look at Giancarlo series, bro. Four homers, seven RBI, 1.22 OPS, and niggas that has had the balls to say he's a waste of money. He's overpaid. People said that shit many times. The guy's a postseason GOAT. How many times you got to see it? Ever since, bro, he his playoff career only started when he got to the Yankees in 2018. And his numbers are astronomical. They up there with the Yankees all-time greats. Put some respect on Giancarlo Stanton's name. He's just different in the playoffs and the man's focus. What did he say yesterday? Bro, that win today don't mean shit unless we win tomorrow. Who, what are the Yankee fan after he said that, said, you know what, you right, my nigga. You right. We ain't win shit. What are we talking about? We ain't win shit. Let's go. Good shit. Hey, hats off to the Guardians. You guys actually gave us a fun series. After the first two games, it didn't look that way. The three games in Cleveland were fucking epic. Every game in Cleveland was epic. From game three, game, and if you can't admit that, you're not, honestly, I'm going to be honest. You can't be a baseball You're not a baseball fan. Man. Those are three epic the, games. Yo, it's all part of the- Those are three epic games. You got you to gotta be real with yourself. You got to admit that. Those are three epic games. Yankees get to chill for a for a week and a day. For no, Well, it starts on Friday. They get to chill for, what, like five days? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, five days. They get to set up their pitches out the way that they want. They get to bring back Nestor Cortez. <laughs> they get to bring back Nestor Cortez, who was only going to be available to be added to the roster if he came if, it, if the Yankees got to the World Series. And guess what? He's here. Yo, Nestor Cortez getting at it. I want to give some love in this series. I want to give some love to these people because these people won't won't be really remembered or sought out because you're only going to remember the big boppers and the big hitters and all of that stuff. Lighter Jr., bro. Lighter Jr., that's the first guy I'm going to talk about. Lighter Jr. First of all, he wasn't added on the roster. He was only added because of what happened with Hamilton. He was added, and he came in. He did the job, though. It didn't, it, it didn't give you the best confidence, <laughs> but he did the job, bro. He did the job. He did the job today as well. Shout out to Cousins, who was hurt to like to end the season, came back, didn't really pitch too much. Yankees didn't really utilize them, and he got some big innings for the Yankees in this series. When the Yankees' bullpen was spent, maybe they found something with Cousins, bro, because that slider and that sinker is a deadly combination. It looked good. Today, he looked real good. Some of these other guys that you have that you have in the pen, in the pen as well, like Tommy Canely getting that save for the Yanks when they didn't have Weaver. Shout out to Weaver. Being a guy that, boom, in the playoffs is tough. You just, somebody, they just, they hit you in the playoffs. You gave up a big home run and you came back your next appearance and you did the job. He gave the Yankees today, he gave them six outs. Great job. Great fucking job. Tim Hill. Tim Hill. Tim Hill. Tim Hill. Tim Hill. My man will come in and go, whoo, whoo. Bro, he was out there, magician. Tim Hill was, was cooking out there on the mound. He was chefing up. He was doing a great job. Every time he comes in, you feel calm. 
It's like, yo, this guy, it's like I took my car to this mechanic and this mechanic like did the, like I could trust him with my car. And he does. I'm watching these guys celebrate right now and they deserve that. Because they, this season had a bunch of up and downs. It did. A lot of this season, the Yankees spent losing a lot of games. People, niggas was thinking that they wasn't going to make the playoffs. I had people in the voicemail apps telling me the Yankees should sell. Sell? Sell is crazy. Sell is crazy. Sell is crazy? It's sell crazy. Or am I crazy? They fought. They fought back. Gleyber Torres did an awesome job. I love this. I really do love this. I love this. I love watching these guys, like, fucking celebrate and seeing all of this shit and you know, what's happening with these guys and all of that. Giancarlo Stanton, on, you know, on his MVP, he says, it's great, but this ain't the trophy I want. I want the next one. You see what I mean, Yo, dog? Yo, language, you speaking dog. my language, dog? <laughs> Giancarlo making love to Yankee fans' mind, dog. Just like that. Quotes like that? It's like, all right, this is cool and all. This is paperweight tight, but I want the next one. I came here for the next one. I came here for the next one. Gleyber Torres moving on to the to the to the leadoff spot was massive for the Yanks. Massive. We still got Yankees. Still got their work cut out for them. They got to figure out some stuff with their bottom of the lineup. They got to figure out some stuff right now. Hopefully, some more guys get going. But the Yankees are good right now, man. I think the Yankees are taking some of the best at bats right now. They're locked in. They got a little formula going. I'm watching Juan Soto celebrate right now. He's dancing. They pouring champagne on his head. <laughs> we had a celebration like that too. It was a little bit more subdued. World Series. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, guys, if you're a Yankee fan. Don't let anybody try to dim your light, bro, because they're going to try. They're going to try so hard to dim your light. They're going to try to make these victories seem like nothing. They're going to try and tell you, oh, the next round, y'all going to lose because of this, this, and this. They're going to tell you all these things. I'm telling you this right now. I'm telling you this right now before it happens because it's going to happen. They're going to say, oh, no, next round? You ain't got nothing for the Dodgers. Oh, you ain't got nothing for the Mets. The Mets fought. They they fought their whole the whole way. Bro, anybody that got to the World Series fought to be there, nigga. Jay Rucker with 20 gifted. Let's go. 20 gifted for Jay Rucker. Everybody that got made it to the World Series fought to be there. Don't let anybody dim your light. Don't let them yuck your yum, bro. Facts. And I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even be like inspired to even want to do content or like do stuff like this and like stuff with the Yankees if it wasn't for you guys that watch, for you guys that support, whether it's on socials. And maybe a lot of you guys sometimes don't even agree with every single point I have, but you guys will, you guys will engage with me, man. And you guys help me out. You guys help me like make a platform, bro. And now we're here in the World Series. Now we got a World Series. We taking it to the point where I do this for a living, bro. Like, that shit is dope. Bro, but anybody that doesn't give the Guardians any respect, bro, you just you just don't like sports, man. I just, I don't know. You got to give the Guardians respect, bro. They fucking, they fought, bro. They fought. They fought. All right. Guys, y'all already know. I love you guys. I love that we celebrated. I'm going to hang on, on on YouTube for a bit. But thank you guys so much. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hop on YouTube. Uh, the fun doesn't stop here, obviously. So make sure you guys hop in there. I'm going to give, after every single game, we're going to do some sort of reaction or something. Um, play the Soto Shuffle song. Be out on the flow, Joes. Let's go. Let's go, Oliver. All right, guys. ALCS, done. American League, done. done. World Series on deck. <laughs> Four more wins. Four more wins. 11 was missing. And now we have four more left. Four more wins. The Yankees have gotten their seven wins already. 
They put them in the bank. Thank you guys so much. Moving on, we need four more dubs. It's a best of seven series, next series. It doesn't mean you gotta play all seven, but win any which way. I don't care how we win. I don't give a care how we win. I don't care how it happens. Guys, like I always say, make sure you guys keep your pinstripes on and stay pinstripe strong. Let's go Yankees. Oh, 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 oh,